collecting nerds, Nerdstacular here, and welcome to my first video of a tour of collection. So, this first video is just a tour of what's behind me in my filming area. Some of it's actual collectibles, and some of it's, like, books and board games. So, I'm not sure if you've seen it or not, but in the upper left behind me, I have a poster. So, currently, it's the newest piece, which is just a Daredevil poster that was in the, I want to say, February or March previews, one of those. However, this is one of those, like, vinyl plastic poster hangers. So inside of it, we currently have a Daredevil poster, two Ghost Rider posters, two Conan posters. There's one of the Conan posters. And I think this one is a Lord of the Rings poster from the animated movie. We just keep them in there, kind of keep them, like, flat and safe. It's easier for me to do that than keep them all rolled up. I don't think you've seen them because they're up pretty high, but on this little shelf here, I have my husband's Big Trouble in Little China Pops. There's the three... I keep calling them the wrong thing. I think they're called the three winds. Uh, there's rain, lightning, and thunder. And then, I want to say low pan. I don't know if that's correct. Jack Burton and Gracie Law. Gracie Law is kind of a bitch. Uh, her stand... She actually doesn't come with a stand. Her base does not support the weight of her head. So I'm going to try to make like a little polymer base for her, like polymer clay that you make and then bake in the oven. So that she'll have something to stand on and I'm going to try to get a red that'll match her dress and maybe you won't notice it as much. So for right now she just lays down because I'm afraid she's going to fall and either land in the fish tank or just break. So that's Gracie Law. Anyway. So here's the 20 gallon fish tank that is in the back of every video. Next to it, we currently have two of the Ghost Rider statues. This features Ghost Rider as you can see on his motorcycle with a bit of asphalt that's on fire. And then there's like, I don't know, like hell underneath or something. There's like skulls and what's supposed to be like indicative of lava or flames or I don't, I don't know. It's just cool looking. And then we have a Ghost Rider mini bust. That is why I had a Ghost Rider poster showing out, but then we got this one and we were so excited, we put that in there, so these may go away to make room for Daredevil stuff instead. Okay, so currently in this little open space here, we have the six inch Godzilla Pop Funko. I used to keep my Daryl Dixon on a motorcycle here, but he fell and his bicycle broke, so I have to fix it. So in the meantime, Godzilla goes there. On the other side over here, this is one of the pieces I had before we got married. And this is my Pirate Nightcrawler, and I believe it's from an issue where he did a Danger Zone. Danger Zone? <laughs> danger Zone! Danger Room simulation where he was a pirate. So it's just awesome. I love Nightcrawler. This is a piece my husband had before we got married, and my goodness. Most of the statues we have belong to my husband before we got married. Just like a little FYI. But this is Nightcrawler with his purple Banff cloud on a little base. Next to that, this is one of my favorite pieces. This is the Angel of Death from Hellboy 2 The Golden Army. I did not think I was going to get her. I ordered her out of the previews catalog and Diamond never actually gave my comic shop a confirmation as to whether or not they'd be shipping her. And they did literally two years later. It was insane. She was only limited to 300 and Diamond tends to not ship things like this to smaller comic stores usually, so I didn't think I was going to get her, so when she actually showed up, I was, I was surprised. Especially because this is a statue limited to 300 and they shipped her, but they never did send a Deadpool t-shirt I ordered, I ordered for my husband, so go figure. Anyway, so down here, this is sort of a miniature Hellboy collection. Uh, this is my husband's Yusagi Yoyimbo statue. We'll just kind of move him out of the way. This is my Hellboy Skelly Animals San Diego Comic Con exclusive. I did not go to San Diego Comic Con. My husband found this for me on eBay. And it was a birthday present. But he's got his little right-handed doom. So cute. His little sawed-off horns. His little, little tail. And then on the back of his, his trench coat, he's got the... BPRD patch. He's adorbs and I love him. 
So this is where I keep my Hellboy trades. I am missing a couple I found out as I was unpacking stuff. As you can see, I'm missing number 11 of the BPRD and I'd never got anything past 12. So I feel really bad because I feel like they're on like 17 or something now. So I need to, I need to get my button gear and work on ordering those and getting them and I'm out of space on here. So luckily I'm in the process of building a big bookcase upstairs that I can put all my stuff on. And these are all my Hellboy novels. This is the novelization of the first movie. This is Bones of Giants. This is one of my favorites. Probably Bones of Giants followed by the first Odd Jobs. This is Odder Jobs, and I need to get Oddest Jobs and Lobster, John Lobster Johnson and the Satan Factory. And then I think I'll have all the novels. So let's put these guys back. Okay, so below that, we have my husband's mini bust of The Tick. He's a huge Tick fan. It's one of the things he collects that I don't quite understand, but he likes it and that's all that matters. This is my remote control Wally. -E. Turn him on. Yeah. There, that's off. Okay, so there's his remote. I think the batteries are dead in it, so I can't really show off what he does. So apparently I lied. His batteries do work in the remote, so I can show you a little bit of what he does. Let me back up here and give him a little bit more space, because he does this really cute dance. He's just the best. Yep, so that's Wally. So back behind Wally, I have this little Star Wars lunchbox. And inside of it is where I keep all of the Pokemon nano blocks that we haven't built yet. So here's a Charizard and there's a Charmander. Pikachu, Squirtle, the Bulbasaur, and an Eevee, and then we keep the little extra parts from the ones we did build. So there's parts from Mewtwo and parts from Gengar. So just keep them all in there, keep them together and safe so we know where they all are. Okay, so moving on up here. This is Starscream from Transformers Prime. He's the only Transformer I've ever bought for myself. He was just such a blast in the Transformers Prime cartoon. There's five of the six Walking Dead novels. They'll be going upstairs again when I get my shelving unit built. I need to get the sixth one, which is called Invasion. Uh, here's the replica, replica of Mal Reynolds' gun from Firefly slash Serenity. This is one of the little Lego guys that came in my Lego Hobbit Barrel Escape set. The other guys are still upstairs in the box. There's a, I don't know, Tom or Jerry from the Tom and Jerry cartoon. It's a little mini bust. And you can't see him, but in the back here is Data from Star Trek. Everything's kind of cluttered right now. I got to work on switching out what's displayed and making it a little bit more cohesive. So. Dropping down, we have Greedo, and behind his back, he's holding, because he's a little shit. He's holding his gun behind his back, because he's a little shit. And then behind that, I've got Gigantic Amethyst. Just didn't know where else to put it, so for right now, it's just back there. It's pokey and heavy and, oh, so it just sits back there. Next to Greedo, I have my Freaks of the Heartland trade, my two Omnivore Editions 1 and 2, Two of my husband's Ultimate Turtle Collections, a book on dogs, uh, this Conan book, I don't really remember what it is. Got it from my husband's Conan collection, I don't know what it is, it's just there. Moving over here, this is Daredevil, not Daredevil, haha, <laughs> this is Punisher. We brought him out when Daredevil season two went on Netflix because, you know, they introduced the character Frank Castle, so that was super exciting. So to celebrate or like in preparation or whatever, we brought him out. Here's uh, two of my, this one fell, 
two of my turrets from Portal. Portal is one of my favorite video games ever because it's just so silly and so fun and I just love the turrets so much. Then we got a little splinter, Michelangelo, Raphael. So I've been playing video games since, I don't know, probably before I could walk and beholders have always been one of my most favorite creatures ever. So I got this guy as a single from my comic shop because just look at him. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. Look at all of his other little eyes. Oh my god. Love it. I love it. Got three of my Wolverine novels here. This one's actually my husband's. Back here I've got my seven first edition hardback Harry Potters. Right next to it I have the originally published Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and Quidditch Through the Ages little books. Tales of Beetle the Bard. Uh, this is Life's, Life's That Way, a memoir by Jim Beaver. And this is my husband's first edition hardcover of Ready Player One. We don't have Armada yet. We did both read it though, got it from the library. Really, really liked it. Looking to add it to our collection. All right, dropping down to this one. Right now I'm just keeping my three Elephant Men uh, volumes, trades, whatever down here just for safekeeping and they're fun to look at even though the stories for the most part are incredibly sad especially uh the one with Ebenezer I don't know, it just makes me sad and then this is just a novel uh I don't know if it's in the Dragonlance line per se I got it for like two dollars when media play went out of business forever ago um but I love minotaurs so I got it I just have never gotten around to reading it because I suck like that and these are just my strategy guides. So I've got Skyrim, and this one's got Dawnguard, Hearthfire, and Dragonborn in it, I believe. The first Tomb Raider one. I'm going to replay this before I play the second one, since I'm going to get the second one for the PS4. And that doesn't come out till fucking December. So I'm going to replay this one for funsies. And I've got Bioshock Infinite, Sid Meier's Civ V. So much fun. So much fun. Final Fantasy 12, 13, 13, 2, X2, 8, 7, Anthology, and Tactics. Because Final Fantasy. And then down here I keep oh, just like random board games. This is not in any stretch of the imagination even close to our full collection. They're just sort of shoved in here. But we have Sequence, Back to the Future card game, Zombie Flux, Cthulhu Flux, Gloom, Exploding Kittens, Not Safe for Work deck, Exploding Kittens regular deck, Uno, Skip Bow, Pooh, the card game, Firefly Out to the Black, The Walking Dead board game, and Talisman board game. This is a huge board game. Fun fact, I've never actually played this, but I play it online with Ste on Steam with my dad like all the time. We keep meaning to sit down and actually play it, and we just never get around to it. Alright, down here I've got a couple Clive Kessler novels. This is a clock I need to hang. What is that? Those look like two little card games? Yeah, card games. Over here I've got Octopus Puzzle I have yet to put together. Big Bang Theory Trivia Game. And then last is a Map of Middle-Earth puzzle that I have never even opened. Um, I got it from a yard sale for like $2 or something. And I've never opened it, and I don't know if I ever will. Part of me wants to open it and put it together and then use that puzzle saver stuff to seal it. And then I want to mount it and like use it as a poster. But I also don't want to open it. So I'm not sure what the fate will be for that puzzle. And that's it. That is what is behind me when I film. So keep an eye out for more collection videos, and I will see everybody later. Collect on, nerds! Look at the fishies. Look at the little baby sword tail fishies. Aw, they're so cute.